Ten bisa. Sell it. Turn up it. God must give you a house. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you, for you to live ten bisa. Sometimes as children of God expect something that is above your ability. God can give you that peace. God will give you that peace. I'm not all of the reasons. Myself, I used to stay in the Uniman Del. You know, I had accidents. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I wish you can take God serious. I really wish you can take God serious. Because if you take God serious, you prosper. You From today, I also want to tell you. Stop telling your younger brother your problems. Are you hearing me? Because you don't know where these problems are reaching. It's like me when I have a problem. I can tell my brother. One day my brother can tell someone without even meaning it in a dead way. Maybe because I, I worry him too much. Sorry. I want to hear more about your life. The little one there now, God, I do deal with mood. I I what's up with your girl? I'm not so lucky. I can't travel in and do the activity. And from there, if I reserve it, I go out from Baba Mumba, Baba Sileng. So please uh, save your brother's heart also. He's a good young man. He's as good as Obuja Mama all the problem. Mama wa kale tabo, or maybe we just mama the achievement. Mama wa kale tabo, but I'm aware we don't have a lot. As I you know, ena ano na rogi share all about our, our right, our, our family, our rad. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to So even if you speak with him, I follow him. You know, because the way you trust your brother, so, you know. You must not know all. I've got brothers. I can't tell them that there's something like this and this and that. No. You know, I can speak with them some things, but there are things that I won't tell them. Just small. Not that you don't trust them. Or not, that, not that you don't trust them. No, but just sometimes. Uh, when we tell other people problems, our problem is because we cannot spend enough time with God. Because if you spend time with God, you will tell God your problems. You understand? And the minute you finish up telling God your problems, your heart will be free. You, know, you, you leave that room when you feel free. You know, because telling this one, uh, it's like you're fueling your problem. God will help you. God must give you money. You finish up Lobola, a child will come. But that thing that I told you, you must go and stop it. You remember what I was saying? Yes. Stop, stop that. I'm going to delay you. Thank you a lot for blessing this man. In the name of Jesus, I cut all the wrong spirits in your body. I remove all these issues upon your head. Be blessed. Receive new opportunities, even the businesses you want to do. I pray that may God connect you with the rightful people. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for the blessing of your child. Thank you for financial breakthrough also. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Okay, my name is Maboja Alfius Moshukwa. I'm currently staying in Tembisa, but I'm from uh, Limpopo, Molejilon State. But the reason I came to 
the church today to meet Prophet Andres is because life, my life was was standing still and I was having some troubles at home also at my workplace. I've been working there for a long time but never got any promotions. So the reason I came here today is because I want peace in my life. I want to prosper in life, to achieve things, and to receive God all the time. Uh, when they were addressing us, uh, the prophet located me, and he, he mentioned things uh, like, where is my car? Where is my car? So I told him that my car is at home. And another thing was, uh, he asked me about the lady that I'm staying with. He said, why I didn't? He said, he sees something like uh, a lady that I never finished paying Lola for. So it was confirmation because I never finished paying Lola. So, uh, uh, like he told me many things today that I was not aware of. But uh, I hope like when I'm living here, everything is going to go well because they also pray for me. Okay, I managed to speak to prophets one on one 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 on one. And he told me about the death of my brother. That if I don't receive Jesus, I will be next. So, and he also revealed about the baby issue. He told me about the baby that I abandoned. But today I know the truth, what, what was happening with the baby and stuff. I think. Okay. Regarding my brother, my brother just got sick for two months and thereafter we were supposed to go home and see him but we saw him on the Christmas day of 2019. On the 26 in the morning we got a call from the hospital that he died in the morning, 6 o'clock. So we never got closure, even myself I never got a closure. Or what's what's happening because I was close to him but he never revealed anything what caused the the, 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 the the sickness and stuff so but today I got a closure coming one on one with the prophet today I got I got answers for everything I got answers so I think I'm satisfied in regard to the issue of the baby, uh, the prophet told me about the baby, that I was having a baby outside. So it is true. Uh, the lady told me that she was pregnant. But me, I, I, I asked him to do DNA test so that we can confirm if the baby is mine. After when we were supposed to meet for DNA test, he she she just disappeared. The contact and stuff, they are no longer going. So I lost contact with them. Or well, the reason I came is because of stagnation in my life. Yeah, he told me about uh, the car that I will. He saw a car. He see a car that I'm gonna get in a house. I think because I was worrying about the house where I'm staying and stuff but he confirmed to me that I will receive a house and a car. Yes. Take the business, play Hey! Look at it. 
Blessed, you are blessed. I will ask you one question. Wait for me. Mm -hmm. 